Hey everyone and welcome back to Neo. On this video we're going to be setting up an axe build. And my goal with this build is to have a setup that's pretty tanky but does a ton of damage. So we'll see if I can manage to set that up. I might not have all of the gear that I need at the moment but we can acquire that as we go along. But what's uh, important is to get things set up so that we can see how we like the initial setup and then move from there. So uh... To get started, I'm going to need a Book of Reincarnation, so I can buy that from the blacksmith. So let's go ahead and do that. It's under Items, Book of Reincarnation. It's only 10,000 gold, so that's not too bad. Considering I have... What do I have? Two million almost. Okay, so we need to use the Book of Reincarnation. And everything is now reset. That is a lot of Amrita. What is that? 14 million 757. So, where to begin? That's always the hardest part. How do we start? Well, I think the first thing I want to do is pick my guardian spirit. And I'm thinking if I want to be tanky, I think I'm going to go with that new guardian spirit I got, the Atlas Bear. It's got 20% spirit protection. It increases damage when you're low key. Uh, life recovery when you grapple of 150, which seems pretty high. Um, it's got 20 verse lightning. Don't really care about that. Close combat damage plus 10%. That is awesome. Uh, it shorten, re shortens recovery time when you're out of key. So I think that'll be good too because these axes use up a bunch of key. And I think I'm going to run myself dry a lot. And that'll just get me back into action really quick. Plus, the Atlas Bear is lightning. And lightning uh, debuff on enemies is amazing. Slow them down. Make them really easy to hit. So I think I'm going to go with the Atlas Bear. And because I'm going with the Atlas Bear, I need 23 Spirit to get all of his passives. So let's go ahead and crank up some stats we know we're going to need. So let's just bring everything up to 10 because I like to have a nice variety. So everything's going up to 10. And then Spirit is going up to 23. And then Magic, I think I'm going to use a lot of Magic with this build to give myself various buffs and debuff the enemy. Because I can cast myself buffs instantly now and the uh, debuffs may as well be instant. It's so fast. Sloth comes out like in a quarter of a second. It's so nice. So I'm thinking like maybe 25, maybe even like 30 magic but let's see how 25 works out first and then we'll spend the rest of the points in a bit let's just have this as sort of a starting point and that gets us up to level 66 i think um well let's see i can just check by going back in i think i'm like a level 112 or somewhere around there let's see uh, 111 so i'm only about halfway through my points. Well, a little over halfway. Okay, so next up I should pick my gear. And let's go to the storehouse because I got some stuff I've been throwing in here in case I want to use it. I want some heavy stuff. So, like, that's a tempting one. Let's send that to the item box so I can take a look at it. That's also a heavy. We'll send that over. And yeah, that's actually it for armor. So I know I threw a Mononobe Axe in here. I'm probably going to use this. This looks really good. Although the... Well, it's got change to attack strength of B+. That's actually pretty good. Oh, plus it... Oh, I see. It's it's um, the purple augmentation on it or whatever. We also have the Kaido Axe. Both of those are tempting. Both of those are really tempting. Let's send those to the item box. And, yep, it's just going to be uh, between those two. Okay, so gear. Let's take care of that. So, what's it going to be? The Mononobe does more damage, probably because of that strength modifier, and that's going to get even higher. The Kaido Axe has lightning enchantment, though, and it has strong attack damage of 8.9%. Although it is inheritable, but you can't really inherit that at the moment 
Oh, it looks like it increases key damage on enemies that are electrified too. That's really nice. Plus more break. Oh, well this has strong attack uh, key damage of 6%. So that's good. I can get people out of key quicker. Plus it's earth enchanted, which also if I debuff them with earth, that just destroys their key. In 13 parry, I doubt I'll be parrying much. But that extra damage is nice, plus that change to attack on strength. I think we're going to go with the Mononobe Axe. So let's put that in the main hand, and then we can just have the, the Kaido in the offhand. So that'll be good. Uh, and then my extra weapons, we can just send those to the storehouse for now, just in case I want them later. Those Kusadigamas. And I think I'll stick with... Uh, these ranged weapons, the gun and the bow, I think I'll probably lean more on the gun. So, uh, what about this stuff? We have Armor of the Exceptional. That's some heavy stuff, 51 toughness on it, that'll be good. Uh, increases Amrita Earned, it's part of the Japan's Bravest set. Skill damage on Tornado goes up, what's Tornado? Hmm, that might be an axe skill. Probably won't be getting this set, but I'm just taking a look. Whoops. And what about this one? The Ichi no Tani Kabuto. Uh, more toughness on it. It's got nine more toughness. Uh, it's got life, which is good. Although that's got life too. Actually, Armor of the Exceptional seems better in just about every way. It's got more defense. It's higher level. About the same weight. Yep, I think Armor of the Exceptional is going to win. So we're going to need 15 Stamina and 14 Strength for that. So that sounds good. Yeah, it's not bad looking. Uh, okay. What do we got next? The Katakawa Armor. Also heavy. Tons of defense on that. Look at that. 321. 104 Toughness. 77 Life. 5 Key. Change the defense magic. My magic is pretty high. That's why it's way up there in defense. Weight is super high. We'll see if we want to deal with that. Damage reduction is great because it's heavy. I think we'll go with it. Let's try it. Then we have the Warrior of the East, Kote. I would lose... Well, not much, actually, to be honest. Let's see. Why am I not comparing? That's much better. So, way more defense, but it's way heavier. Uh, it's got Amrita Earned up, which is always nice. Equipment drop rate, I don't really care about that. Thrown weapon key damage, that's useless. Water shot bonus, I don't care about that. And it's part of the Warrior of the East Honor set. Which, uh, I don't really care for, but the four piece is nice. I think I'm gonna switch. Let's do it. Alright, and then we have Katakawa armor again. This time, the legs. I don't know how much evasion key usage is going to help me now. I'm definitely going to keep these. Um, just in my bank or whatever. But I might switch here. That defense is nice. That would give me up to 315 toughness, which is just absurd. Um, 44 life. Some extra life is always good. Running speed up, I don't care about that. Yeah, I think we'll switch to that too. Oh, and I've exceeded my maximum limit. Okay, well, we'll fix that with stamina. That's not a big deal. Uh, and then the feet, those are just going to stay the same. Okay, so I think that's what we want to do. So I need more stamina. So let's go fix that. Oh, and then I also need... What did I need? I need 15 stamina, 14 strength. We're going to have plenty of strength. Oh, I need 17 stamina, actually. Uh, yeah, 17 stamina seems to be the key here. So level up. 7 points in stamina. That'll get me... Ooh, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Well, we'll see. Let's try it. 
because I'm I still have to put it on and I don't want to go over a hundred percent I think you can actually go over a hundred percent and if I do I don't get like any agility rating or whatever uh, but let's see what happens oh I see oh I, I actually put it on I just wasn't getting the effects I guess let's see Uh, yes, so I'm actually wearing them. I just had gone over the limit So we're good there 94.2% I've I think I'm just gonna go with agility C. I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of Dodging I don't believe well at least that's the plan. I, I haven't tested it enough to say for sure But the plan is I'm just gonna sort of soak up the hits So that looks pretty good and then once I put my strength in we'll be all set there And I don't know need any other stats do I? No, I'm good there. Okay, so I guess the rest is going into strength. If I'm not mistaken. I don't think I need anything else. Heart and body at 10. Probably could use some more health, but let's let's see. I'm at 1900. That would get me up to 2025. That's not a big difference, to be honest. Let's just put it all in strength. Let's get some major damage. And that'll get me up to 48 strength. And that'll also increase my uh, axe's damage pretty significantly. So actually, let me see the difference here before I do it. So my axe is currently at 683. Let's see what it is after all that strength. So just dump it all in there. And now the axe is 838. Wow. That is some monster damage. It's cleared the uh, Kaido axe by 83, or 88 rather. All right, and it's not even max proficiency. I wonder how it scales there. Let's find out actually. I got plenty of whatever they're called, whetstones. So usable items. We want whetstones, and I need, what, six of them, I think? Okay, and what's that going to do? 875. Nice. Oh, that is just monstrous. And look at that. The change to attack strength actually went up to A. I guess that's because of my proficiency. Huh. All right, well, that's pretty sweet. And I actually like this look. I think I'm just going to keep it. It looks pretty sweet. Just kind of worked out. Okay, uh, what are we doing next? I guess we should probably uh, use some skill points, huh? Because the gear's all settled, I think. Let me look at my status here. Uh, yep, agility rating of C. Yeah, everything looks good, I think. Defense is 1214, toughness 319. Does that give me any sort of number value? Nope, just resistance to guard breaks and key damage. Affects how much damage you take. All right, we're in good shape, I think. So, skills. We'll start off with Axe. Oh my god, 172 skill points. So, we definitely want Grapple. And then I also want, well, I don't want this, but I want Fortitude. So I need to get the Adamantine. Increases your defense by sacrificing movement speed. Can only be used when your sword is sheathed. Uh, that's holding R1 and then pressing circle. Don't know if I'll ever use it, but maybe. I mean, if I don't have to move much, it might be good. So we'll go with that. Uh, battle focus increases key used when dodging in exchange for decreasing key used when attacking can only be used when your sword is sheathed now that could be good because if I'm not gonna be dodging it doesn't really matter if increased key usage when dodging so that's a possibility although that animation just seems so slow but we got to get it either way um, but for now we'll keep the defense one and then we want the fortitude passives to get more health 
That's 200 more health. So next we have Flux. We know what that does. We want Flux 1 and Flux 2. Mad Spinner. Spins your body and your axe. Um, I don't think I want that. It seems a little too slow for me. And then you can get Mad Spinner 2. Gradually increases speed of your spin. So, I don't know. It, it doesn't really seem that great. I think I just leave myself vulnerable. So I'm going to pass on that for now. Uh, we can get Rumbling Earth. Swing axe overhead, then slams it to Earth, creating a shockwave that damages the area. So that seems a little bit faster. Might be worth it. I have to pick both these up anyway, so I'm going to be getting it, because I want Titanic Strength, which launches the enemy up before slamming them back down. That's L1 plus Triangle while guarding. So that seems pretty good. So I'm going to get all three of these. So there we go. Next up, we have the Key Pulse Heaven. We know what that does, and we want it. High stance damage boost for perfect key pulses. Uh, let's see. High stance only follows up a combo with a jumping slice that knocks the enemy into the air, then slams them back down to earth. Heaven and earth. Yeah, that seems pretty good. We're going to get that. And then we have axe damage increased 6% against Yokai. That's a fantastic passive. We're going to pick up all three ranks of that. Uh, Living Water Heaven, yes. Lumber Chop, high stance only, focuses your strength before unleashing a powerful blow. Eh, that seems way too slow. Not impressed. Alright, uh, Key Pulse Man, of course. Roar, mid stance only, a frontal charge in full guard. That seems decent. And I think I want this stuff over here. Yeah, I want that tri spark. That seems really good. So we're going to get it either way. Uh, next, we have Spirit Wind. Mid stance only slams the enemy while parrying their attack. So a parry. Although the parry for axe is interesting, it's just kind of knocks them over, which works just fine. So let's go ahead and get that. Then we have tri spark, which I think I already showed it, right? Well, anyways, there it is. That looks really good. That's mid stance only. So we'll pick that up. Uh, and we want to override that, yes. Uh, Living Water Man, of course. Cornered Boar. When your health drops to 30% or lower, receive damage is reduced by 10%. Eh, may as well. It's kind of expensive, but it could be worth it. Especially if I'm just going to be eating attacks. Uh, next we have Stone Mallet. Mid stance only, rams into the enemy and sends them flying. That seems basically the same as the other one I got. And they're both mid stance only, so let's just keep the roar. I think that's better. Keep pulls Earth, yes. Cloud Crush. Low stance only, follows up a combo with an upward slice. If the attack depletes an enemy's key, it will lift them and hurl them back. Yeah, looks fun at least. I don't know if it's going to be super useful, but it's only three points. Let's try it. Uh, Earth Carver. Low stance only. Scrapes the ground as you swing your weapon up, sending debris flying. That doesn't seem that great. We're going to pass on that one. Living Water Earth. Yes. And then we have these, the Melee Masteries. Uh, let's wait on these. I want to get some other passives. So, Kusarigama has some good ones, I think. Like Full Moon Kata. When your health is at max, your close combat damage increases by 6%. Not sure how much my health is going to be at max with this build, but I still want to try it. So let's get that. And then what else do we want? We could increase my final blow damage. By 8%, which ends up being like 16, I think. Let's go ahead and get that. And then what else do we got? I 
think there's another passive that Kusadagama has I like. Increases damage dealt to enemies from behind by 6%. Yeah, I think we should get that too. Don't know how often I'll be able to get behind, but... That would be really good, I think. Getting low on points, though. Let's not get the third one. We'll just keep that at two. So... Let's see, how much... I'm thinking about the key ones, but I'm not sure yet, because... I almost kind of want to run out of key if Atlas Bear is going to recover me super quick, so I need to play with that a little bit more, so I need to just save points for this, I think. So we'll hold on to some points, um, but I will, I will get one melee mastery. That'll increase my melee weapon attack by two, it's not that great, but it's something. So that should be good, and then we'll see what we want to do with this key. Alright, so what next? Oh, and did that, for some reason, increase my axe damage? No. Uh, I don't know why this is... Oh, what's this? Oh, from behind. That'll be the sneak attack, although I don't know if I'll be using it. Okay, well, then we'll move on to ninja skills. We got 51 points, jeez. Well, we definitely want the Mystic Art to perform my ninjutsu uh, instantly. On myself. Uh, yes, I would like to equip that. So, what do we want? Normally, I like Galnut Broth, but um, my poison damage is going to be crap because my dexterity is crap. So, what do we want instead? Reduce key consumed by a dash by 6%. Possibly. Uh, let's see. What I really want, though, is quick change. Let's get that. And we'll get... We'll get the key reductions on dodging. Um, but we'll get two ranks of that. While I make sure I don't miss anything else. We'll get sneak attack, although I don't know if I'll be using it. Uh, we definitely want to be carrying max elixirs. So let's grab that. Uh, power pills, yes please. We'll get two, so we can carry four. Possibly three, we'll see. Uh, I guess that's really it, so let's get the do the dashing one too. Uh, we'll get the final rank of the dodge uh, evasive rolls. Wait, how much do I need for... Power pill, just three, okay. All right, so dashing one, maybe increased running speed, but I don't think I really need that. Um, let's see, I need to see, um, I need to go to the shrine and check on my jutsu and see how much I can actually equip here. So let's see, we want the quick change. That's six, and then power pills, uh, four, oh, I need more. Okay, so I need, let's see here, I need to go and get Ninja Tool Mastery, increase ninjutsu by four. And then actually, I think I could get the third rank. Yeah, because that has two jutsu cost. Let me make sure. But I think I can sneak that in. Uh, actually, no, I can't, because I'm at 13. Oh, well, uh, we can find something to spend those last three points on. So, three points. What's it gonna be? Don't know what I want. Huh. Maybe just hold on to them. Can't think of anything that I'd really want other than another power pill. But I can't actually equip it, so that won't do me any good. Could increase my run speed, but let's just hold on to the points. 
Okay, so next we have Onmio Magic. I got way more points for that. So I definitely want Awakening, Instant Cast for myself, and inst or Near Instant Cast for uh, targeting enemies. Yes, confirm that. Uh, we needed to Vigorate. I might actually use it, but probably not. Uh, I do want a Weakness Talisman. Um, using them reduces enemy defense power. Um, I didn't like them before because the Amio Magic had a cast time, but now I'm thinking it would be pretty good. I can basically instantly weaken someone and do even more damage to them. So. Let's go ahead and get one of those. Uh, life seal I don't want, but I need it to get sloth. So what else do we want? None of that looks appealing to me. We'll get uh, all the passives here, so pure mind one, two, and three, and then extend the range of my purifications. Uh, I think I want to play with Kakai a little bit. Key recovery could be really good for me, plus it'll purge uh, key pools, or the defilement pools, so let's go ahead and give that a shot. Although I don't know if that's going to be instant cast, because I don't know if it's technically on me, but we'll see. Uh, I think I also want to get some extra healing, so possibly Oasis, and let's get two things of rejuvenation. Because that'll let me heal and attack. Where Oasis, I kind of have to sit in one spot. I don't know if it'll work as well. Um, Let's see. I might want to get these Steel Talismans as well to raise my defense. So let's get one of those. Carnage. Oh, I'm tempted. Let's try Carnage a little bit. I haven't played with it much. We'll see how much it lowers my defense. Okay, what else do we got? We should probably get the Amrita bonuses there, so let's just go all the way over. Pick these up. Okay, and then we definitely want some extra luck. Let's take those. Uh, let's see what else we want. I think we're just about done. So we'll take extra luck and extra luck. That leaves me with seven skill points. I could get some more Omnio Magic Capacity if I need it. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I will increase my Guardian Spirit or my Living Weapon use time by three. That'll leave me with three points. And let's go ready my Jutsu and see if I need that extra capacity. So let's see here. Omnio. So let's see. We got Sloth up there. We definitely want that. And then I'm probably gonna roll with a weakness. We'll replace blinding shell. Okay, and then fire amulets, they're gonna go. We got my healing on the back bar, so let's keep that up. We'll ready those rejuvenations. Set those to the fire amulet. And we got my spirit stone, my Shingeku medicine and my elixirs. Probably don't need the Shingeku Medicine there anymore. Uh, maybe put the Kakai in its place. I might not need the Spirit Stones to be honest, but we'll keep those for now. Uh, for now, Kakai is going to replace Shingeku. And then, did I forget anything? Oh right, my Steel Talismans, but I don't have enough capacity. Ooh, Carnage is there too. Hmm, I think I could actually put both of them on if I wanted to by increasing my capacity. So let's see. Uh, learn skills. We'll go down. Increase that capacity by four, and I think that'll be enough. Okay, let's see. Well, steel's going up. Yeah, that got it to 26, and then Carnage is there as well if we want to pull that in. Uh, for now, Steel can replace the Spirit Stones. Carnage is just kind of there. If I want to bring a Carnage, I can. 
But for now, we'll leave it off. Because I think we got a good setup here. Carnage can, Carnage can just replace the power pill if I'm feeling brave. So, yeah. That looks pretty good to me. Lots of different stuff to play with. Okay. So, I think we're just about ready. Let's look at my stats now. See if anything's changed. Not really. First Yokai Realm is 720. Nope. Okay, uh, what's left? I think we just need to switch my clan and then we're good. So let's go to the hidden tea house. I might need to go online. Yeah, I gotta go online. Let me fix that. R3. Hidden tea house. I want to transfer. And then I was looking at this one. Right here, the Ryo Zoji. Close combat attack with the axe goes up 5%. Sometimes it's a little uh, hidden and this one's the same. So it increases damage dealt when a Kusatagama... Oh, that's Kusatagama. Oh, I hope that's a typo. Increases damage dealt when a Kusatagama is equipped as either melee weapon 1 or 2. Damage is increased further when a Kusatagama is equipped to each melee weapon slot. Huh. I thought that was Axe. I think it is. I think they just made a typo. But I'll look into that. I think I'm still going to switch for now. And that increases chance of a break. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just a typo. Should be Axe. So, uh, let's go ahead and try it. Oh, and before we do that, we'll look at the clan analysis. The Ryozoji clan controlled an area centered around Hizen province present-day Saga and Nagasaki prefectures. Their most famous leader was Ryo Zoji Takanobu. Takanobu was not born to the main Ryo Zoji line, but rose to control it anyway, after driving the rival Shoni clan out of Hizen altogether. Takanobu rapidly expanded the clan's holdings to five provinces and became feared as the Bear of Hizen. The family crest is known as the Twelve Rays of the Ryo Zoji and is a stylized representation of the sun. It is said that the clan chose the emblem to associate themselves with the sun and its holy power to drive away darkness. So, hopefully that means X. Uh, you will transfer to Dio Zoji. The clan battle is almost over, so the reward you can, you can receive for a camp victory will be decreased by 60%. Are you sure you want to proceed? Sure. <laughs> Alright. Plan has changed. I doubt that has any noticeable effect here. Actually, I think it did. Oh no, that was 875 before. Okay, um... Am I all set here? Did I use all my Emrita? I did. Yeah, I... I think we're all set. I don't think I forgot anything. All my skill points are pretty much used. All the samurai skill points are used except for 20. Ninja, I've got three left. Amio is completely dry. So, yeah. I think we're all set. And like I said, I like the look. So I think I'll just keep it like that. Because it's pretty cool. And there's my final stats. And we'll be giving this build a run on the next video and hopefully it'll work out the way I expect it to where I can actually take some hits and just bully everyone but we'll see I have not played with the axe that much just got a basic familiarity with it so uh, hopefully I don't get completely stomped when we take this force pen alright well thank you for watching and I will see you next time